Hi everybody, this is Lee Beattie, and uh, welcome back. Uh, here's another uh, review of uh, another really awesome, uh, you know, web-based property called uh, Pick Resize. It's P-I-C-R-E-S-I-Z-E, -E, as you see here, dot com. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of show you real quick, uh, and I'm just going to use Google as that. I'm going to say funny images. All right. So I'll just go here. I'm going to hit there. Um, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, copy link location. I'm going to go here uh, from the web. All right. Let's make sure that it, uh, it's sized in here. And I just want to really just kind of show you how you can kind of, you know, use something like this. Uh, if you don't have the, the capabilities of resizing or if you're not using it. See this right here? Uh, you know, you can crop the selection. You can revert to You can rotate it. Watch this. We're going to rotate it. We're going to flip horizontal. See this? We're going to rotate it again. You know, see this right here? We're going to flip vertical. All right. We're gonna, you know, I'm just going to show you. See how you can kind of, uh, you know, actually go through this. Uh, you know, if you want to make the it, it smaller, if you want to actually, here let's, let's do a frame border. Uh, let's just, you know, let's see here. Hey, let's go 25% smaller. Um, and let's just do, let's go scorched. I'm done. Resize the picture. As you're going to see here, uh, it's actually going through and it's just, you know, it's doing its magic. It's taking it from what the, from what it's doing there. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just see here. Uh, let's just go ahead and view the image. See that right there? I just scorched it, as you can see. And, you know, I mean, I, I'm just, you know, as you can see, the effects that are on there. You know, if I wanted to uh, go back to the edit. Oh. Excuse me. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to web. We're going to go here. We're going to allow it to do its thing. So basically what I'm trying to show you right now is that, you know, pickresize.com is just another way for you to actually take either what's yours or what, you know, maybe images you have. You know, a lot of times if you've if you followed any of some of the other training that I've done, uh, this is actually going to allow you to do a lot of different things. Either, you know, you can you can crop it, you know, again, to crop make selection first by dragging the picture view. Uh, so we're going to go here. See this? See how I'm just I'm just kind of cropping it in there, all right. And then uh, we're just going to do a Polaroid. Uh, here we're going to just do it done, resize my picture. And I'm you know again I don't know whose picture that is. If you made that, awesome. It's a funny picture, obviously. Uh, you know I just really want to demonstrate just how easy PickResize.com is and just how functional this is. You know because a lot of people you know they, they get kind of caught up in in you know wanting to you know post you know, images to their articles or, you know, in, inside the WordPress blogs or, you know, maybe they just don't know how to uh, maybe add something to their Facebook page, make something unique or, or whichever the case. If you actually have the rights. Now, folks, I didn't have the rights to that. Okay, I just I'm using it as a demonstration, so please, uh, you know, make sure that you have the actual uh, rights to do that. And you know, you, you should check out another video for when I actually show uh, about that. But if you're actually using Google, and I and I don't have this wide enough to, to actually show you all the other stuff, but all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna view image. All right, see this? It's a Polaroid. See how that looks like a Polaroid picture now? See how I did that? It's just all I did was resize that. So, folks, if you're if you're literally looking for ways to you know use something for free, PickResize.com is another great resource that you can actually use. And you know, for those of you who don't know, I'm um, I'm a huge fan of similar sites. For those of you who don't know, this is this is. Uh, this is just another way that you can actually use uh, another what I consider to be an analytics based tool or just something that, that I'll give you other references like these. But this pick resize is an awesome resource online. But then there's other ones, you know, there's resize to mail, you know, snapshots, stuff like this. So, you know, so, the, you know, there. 
you know, two things you should learn from this is, you know, if you're, you're actually trying to resize, you know, crop pictures, do something different and save it and, you know, post it to the web and get some engagement, you know, check out pickresize.com. It's a great resource. Uh, obviously, when you're going here, I don't have this wide enough to actually show it, and I'm not going to try and scroll that over to do it, but, you know, I can, I can uh, you know, go you should check that out in another video but if, if you're looking for you know stuff like this make sure that you're also using similar sites uh, it's another great valuable resource uh, that that's going to give you a lot of other websites the other similar sites is kind of what the site is and then it, it gives you a lot of other custom analytics down here that uh, you know really uh, it, it's it's really just um, very very useful um, and it's just a good uh, analytics based tool so hopefully you found this useful and I'll check out in the next uh, next video thanks